Internal communication to your team is critical. There might be time-sensitive information you need to deliver or big changes to the company that everyone needs to know. But sometimes those communications might not be engaging enough to really grab the attention of your team. So in this video, I wanna show you all the tools you get when you record and edit that internal content with Riverside that'll make it easy to pull out the most important bullet points, send that to your team, present slides, use a teleprompter, remove all the silences so you can set the pace of that communication, and you can edit that entire piece of content in Riverside without having to download video and audio files, importing them to a computer. And it's so easy, someone already on your team can edit that content for you. Here I've logged into my Riverside account, and I'm gonna go into one of my Riverside studios where I record this kind of internal content. I've chosen my camera, microphone, and speaker, and I'm gonna select I'm using headphones. You might be recording the solo, which Riverside is great for solo content too, Maybe your CEO or leadership in the company wants to record this kind of content. Well, they can do it on their mobile device or their laptop with Riverside, and they really don't need to have any technical knowledge. If you wanna get a little better video or audio quality, you can use an iPhone in continuity camera mode with Riverside or use a USB mic. I'll put a two minute tutorial on continuity camera right up here. And if you wanna learn about some good USB mics to increase your audio quality, I'll put a link to that down in the video description. Once everything's set, you can join your Riverside studio. Now here in the studio, there are lots of tools for recording this kind of internal content. Number one might be the most important. Riverside has a built-in script and teleprompter feature. If I roll my mouse over here, I can click script, and now I can paste an entire script for my communication or maybe just some bullet points. This way I can refer to this as I record my content. And if multiple people have access to a studio, like on our Riverside business plans, someone can get the studio ready by preloading the script or preloading slides, which I'll show you in a moment. This way leadership or someone else can go in there click script, and they're ready to record. You can change the font size, bold, italic, and underline. Then you can even jump into teleprompter mode. This places the text on top of the video. This way, if you're recording with a webcam or a built-in laptop camera, you'll be looking close to the camera even while you read the words. You can increase or decrease the text size here, and then actually start the teleprompter. You can change the speed, making it slower or faster. And now you can read the communication, this way you make no mistakes, and record that all right here in Riverside. This becomes even more powerful if you want to use an actual teleprompter device. The Elgato prompter is the perfect pair with the Riverside teleprompter feature. We have an entire video on that showing how to use it so you're directly looking in the camera even while you read a script. I'll link that video above and in the description. In addition to the script feature, which I could turn off just by clicking that button at the bottom, we also have the ability to present slides and screen shares. If you're part of the Riverside business platform, you can upload a PowerPoint keynote or PDF file load it here in the studio, and it'll stay here until you remove it by clicking the minus button and upload an entire slideshow. This way you can present it while you record. And when you present these slides while you record, these will also be a part of the Riverside editor where we put it all together for you. I'll show you that in a moment. With a presentation uploaded, I can jump between slides, advance manually. And if there's someone else in the studio, maybe I'm recording with another member of the team, I can actually give them control of the presentation. This way they can run the slides while I present or vice versa. And then I can stop presenting just by clicking stop at the bottom. Now a feature available to everyone is screen sharing and you can combine this with a tool like Google Slides or Keynote to share slides as well. If I go down to share and then share screen, I can choose a window or tab. And here I have a Google Slide presentation loaded in the tab of my web browser. If I click share, you see I'm sharing my Google Slides presentation, but you still see kind of the Google Slides UI around the slide. Well, when you're presenting in a web browser like this with Google Slides, I can click slideshow and it will go full screen with the slide, even here in the Riverside Studio. And now I can advance the slides in this other window. You'll see those slides presented here in the Riverside Studio. This will be recorded locally and you get separate tracks for every presentation you upload when you share your screen and you can put it all together automatically in the Riverside Editor or send a link to someone to download these files and edit your communication later. You can stop sharing your screen and then go back and share your entire computer screen. Maybe you need to do a tutorial on a new tool for the team, or again, share a window for an application or a tab for your web browser. Sharing slides, your screen, or presentations can make the whole communication more visually appealing and get people to listen to what you're saying. You can also click the media tab down here in the bottom right and upload video or audio files that you'd like to present during the recording. If I click a video here, a preview will come up in the bottom right. I can click live. And now this video will play for everyone in the studio as I record. And this will be recorded, yes, as a separate track, but also brought into the Riverside editor, put together automatically for me. If you wanna invite other members of your team to record with you or present with you, you can click the invite link here in the top. Copying the guest link and sending that to someone else means they can load that in a browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. 
they'll join you here in the Riverside studio. And once you press the record button here at the bottom, then you and your remote guests will be recorded in high quality locally on each device. And then you can edit that later in the Riverside editor or download the files yourself. Another great tool of the Riverside studio is you can invite audience members to observe the recording live. If I go back up to that invite button, I can then choose the audience link, copy that, and I can distribute that internally to my team. And then when I hit the record button, this will actually be streamed live on the Riverside platform. And anyone with that audience link can watch live and participate in the chat window, which you'll also find in the bottom right corner. And you can communicate with your team. They can ask questions for Q and A, and then you can have that live experience of a communication. And it's still being recorded in high quality. This way you can make it available later if anyone couldn't tune in live. If you wanna learn more about live streaming, audience mode, and even live call-ins where someone can come in video and audio and ask a question from the audience. I'll put a video up here and link down in the description on how to use those interactive features. Now, when you're done recording, you can hit stop. Files will be uploaded and you'll see that progress. And once you see successfully uploaded, you're ready to jump into the Riverside editor and put it all together. Here in my Riverside studio, I'll go to a past recording and there's some great features here, especially for internal communications. First of all, you get an entire AI powered transcript every time you record, which is great for referring back to what was talked about and even generate AI show notes. Riverside does this with a click of a button. This will give you a summary of the recording, some bullet point takeaways, and even chapter markers about what was discussed. This is really helpful. You can just send this in an email to your team. This way they see the summary, takeaways, and chapters. If you scroll down, you can put it all together just by generating a full episode. And if you wanna share vertical clips of this recording, you can generate magic clips, which creates that vertical video automatically, puts animated captions on there, and then you can share it to social media if you'd like. Scrolling down to the very bottom, here's where you can download high quality individual tracks, both raw video and audio for every guest that was a part, and any media board or screen share files or presentation slides all get separate tracks and you can download them individually. Plus they're all in sync, meaning they're all the same length. This way you can bring it into Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. And we also have one click exports for those destinations as well. And you can edit outside of Riverside. If someone was recording with a built-in laptop mic or maybe even their mobile device, you can also generate magic audio, which will get studio quality sound with the built-in mic of their device. Just to give you an idea, here's an example of magic audio in action. Maybe you're recording outside with some fans going, there's a waterfall behind me with background noise. All of this is gonna make for not great audio to listen to. But with Riverside Magic Audio, it will clean all of it up and I'm still using my built-in laptop mic. And yes, it still sounds this good with Riverside Magic Audio. Now that's pretty cool, but even more magic happens when we jump into the Riverside Editor. I'll click the edit button in the top right corner of my recording and then click create new edit. You'll see here the Riverside Editor automatically puts you and any other remote guest side by side in high quality video. And then to edit the content, maybe you wanna cut out a sentence, a section, I can select the text here in the transcript of the recording click delete, and now I've edited the video and audio of my recording. This makes editing this kind of internal video content accessible to pretty much anyone on your team. If they can edit a Word document, they can edit video and audio content right here in Riverside. If someone's more experienced and wants to edit with the timeline below, you can cut and split sections down here and then even reorder and drag around these sections and manipulate the content like a real video editor. You also see these automated chapters created down here and you can adjust these, rename these, remove chapters, or even add more chapters if you'd like. Once you've edited your content, if you wanna get an updated version of your transcript, click the three dots and you can download the transcript with any edits you've made. Plus you can get that updated chapter list here as well. If you wanna search the transcript, maybe it was a long meeting or recording and you're looking for that one moment that was really key. Well, you can search for a word or phrase and it will pull up all the instances here in the transcript, highlighting it here in the editor. And you'll see down here, all the instances of that word or phrase spoken, who spoke it, the timestamp and the context. In addition, we have magic tools, including that magic audio that we talked about and our set pace feature. If there was some extended silences, maybe people took breaks in the middle of the recording, you can choose to remove silences, either removing a lot of silences or not as much. And Riverside tells you how much silence, 60 seconds, and how many pauses, 41 pauses, would be cut out depending on where you drag our set pace slider. You can also change the format if you're wanting to create a vertical video for social media or a square video for something like LinkedIn. You can adjust the appearance of the layout, maybe add some spacing between participants, round the corners, add a custom background image or a logo for your brand, add those captions here, and even add a highlight color to the captions. This means someone can actually read the communication to the team, 
even if they're in a place where they can listen to the audio. You can also do text overlays, including URLs, maybe to a company website, or if you had a special guest, you can put their name here, move it around the frame, and you can add as many of those text overlays as you'd like. You'll also see as we played video in the media board, that gets laid out automatically in the Riverside editor without having to do anything. And once we stop sharing something, it goes back to me and other guests. In the final edit, your screen shares, presentations, and media board files will appear large and everyone else picture in picture. And if you'd like to change that, you could choose the full screen layout. This will make your slides, media board files, or screen shares full screen, and it'll focus on the active speaker throughout the entire recording in the full window. Then when you're ready to export, click the export button in the top right corner. You can export up to 4K video quality. Normalized audio levels makes everything the same volume, and you're ready to export the video. Or if you wanna just export the audio from this recording, you can click audio, export an MP3, which would be great for a podcast, still normalize the levels, and then export the audio. If you wanna export both, once you click export, you actually see an option here to keep editing. This will bring you right back into the Riverside editor with all the changes you just made, and then you can still go up to export, choose audio, and now you have both an audio and video file for the same communication. And that's how to use the powerful Riverside features when you're recording in studio and editing with ease so you can distribute it to your team, even with those AI-generated show notes, takeaways, and summaries. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video. I answer those personally. And if you'd like to learn more about all the features Riverside has to offer, I'll put a playlist right here. It's our Learn to Use Riverside where I go through the entire platform. And if you want some guidance on getting professional audio and video quality, maybe for your team, leadership, or more, I'll put a video right up here that goes through different budget levels and how you can upgrade that audio and video setup. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.